Welcome back everybody to part three of our container lab build. If you haven't seen the previous parts, click on the card in the top corner and it'll take you to the playlist with all of those. So, okay, here we are. I am about here with the welding and uh, things have been running pretty good today. This is day two of welding and uh, I have bad news. So I finished welding all this. I welded about eight to 10 feet already today. And now I came to here and was throwing down some tacks uh, so that I could wire wheel off this rebar. And I went and put this tack in and then for some reason uh, lost power. So we were running all of our operations on a generator. We're gonna show you that generator here in a second, but uh, essentially we broke it. And uh, now we're gonna need to get some power from our main off grid system, uh, which involves like a 200 foot extension cord. And yeah, long story short, um, kind of a bit of a, a roadblock, speed bump, whatever you want to call it, but we're making progress. Uh, we've got quite a bit of the welding done. I've got about 10 feet left to go. And uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. And once we get this fully welded and uh, whatnot, we can go ahead and start cutting out the wall. I've been trying to push forward on doing a lot of this welding today because it's starting to get cloudy and we're about to have five to six days of rain. So if we can get everything outside done, uh, that sets us up well for getting the stuff on the inside taken care of and uh, we can go from there. Now let me show you this generator. This is actually quite funny. I know exactly what's wrong and uh, you guys will get a kick out of this. Let's go check it out. So this is the generator we've been using. This thing is brand new. Um, we got a pretty good deal on it, but after uh, running it now, we realize it's not actually such a good deal. Um, so we got it brand new. This is the first project we've actually used this generator for. This thing has maybe three, four hours on it now. We haven't even done the first oil change. So it's powered by Kohler. Um, it's called AMP, which is, uh, I think it stands for American Motor Products or something like that. Either way, Kohler doesn't make this generator. Um, it's actually like a third party that uses Kohler motors. So when it comes to warranty, Kohler only will cover um, their motor. So I'm in on the 122 40 volt 50 amp plug. Um, none of these breakers tripped and I came down here with it still running and this voltage display uh, had nothing on it. So I shut the generator off and it made a really interesting noise. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Uh, we're gonna try and adjust the audio a little bit in post-production so that this isn't so uh, noisy. So keeping an eye out for you headphone users. But keep in mind, this is a welder generator compressor unit and it's meant to have welding done with it because it's got the welding leads right here. So running a welding machine on this generator really shouldn't be an issue. So check it out. Here I'm gonna start the generator. So now we're gonna come around to the other side and look at where the generator head connects to the motor. Now I'm gonna shut off the generator So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy and kind of sad that, uh, you know, this brand is supposed to be made in the USA and uh, really sucks when products made in the USA turn out to be total junk. We actually got another generator in a uh, kind of a bulk buy deal with this. Um, and that generator had a valve that seized up because the gas that was in it when we got it, they had a little bit in there. Um, it was bad gas and it coated the valve stem and caused the valve to uh, stick. So highly recommend not touching these products with a 10 foot stick. Um, I'm not really a fan of the Kohler motors personally. Um, you know, we're kind of stuck with it now, so we're gonna see what it costs to repair. So uh, stay tuned for update videos on this generator, but uh, we're gonna get power uh, reconfigured a little bit and uh, keep going, trying to get this welding all finished up today. Okay, so plan B, we came up with a solution. I got my extension cord and uh, this is one heck of an extension cord. It goes all the way back 
to our uh, quad container because that quad container has a 50 amp feed from the main electrical room. So altogether, we're about 300, uh, 300 feet to this point and uh, this doesn't totally reach to the welder. So I've got another 50 foot, it was about 40 foot cord that goes to the welder. So uh, it's a challenge for voltage drop when you're running this far, uh, but that's the nice part about these inverter welders like the uh, Miller Multimatic I'm running is they do perfectly fine if the voltage is a little low, uh, they draw a couple more amps on the AC side and uh, still can run a really nice arc. So we work quickly to get all of this welded because the rain is coming and uh, that's why you don't see any of the welding equipment out here because we already put it away. Now we had a really fun experience here. I was welding and somehow blew a hole into uh, the container and uh, the next thing that happened was pretty crazy. Check this out. I have no idea what just happened. So I was welding and something blew a hole and now I've got water coming out and it's been coming out for the last like 45 seconds. I literally have no idea where this came from, what, what's going on, but literally, I mean, it's, it's under some good pressure too. It's pretty, <laughs> one of those things that makes you go, uh, what the heck is going on? What do you think, Jarrett? Pretty random, huh? So yeah, as you can see, it was going uh, pretty crazy. I ended up getting my grinder and cutting a slice into the container and so much water gushed out under like a lot of pressure. I have no idea how that happened and where it came from, but uh, it was pretty crazy of an experience. And if you notice, I haven't even wire wheeled the slag off some of these welds because uh, we were just trying to get done because it was starting to uh, rain on us and everything was already kind of wet from, uh, from that uh, interesting situation, we'll say. So after that, we went inside and we'll show you what we did there. Bear with me here if it's a little dark. Uh, we don't have any lighting in these containers yet and the sun's getting ready to go down. But uh, while I was working on welding, uh, my helper Jarrett went ahead and demoed out all this conduit. And now that all that stuff is demoed out, we're getting closer to being ready to put stuff in here. We do need to take the lights down. There were some heaters in here. And then shortly after that, we went ahead and cut a hole into the other container. Now this entire wall is gonna go eventually. Um, this was just to kind of get some air flowing through here. So to make this opening, we did try the oxyacetylene torch that didn't work out very well. Uh, I ended up using a cutoff wheel with the grinder. But follow me in here into this other container. You guys haven't seen inside this half much. Uh, it's not all that exciting, but if you come over here down to the end, you can see there were some shelves and those uh, Jarrett demoed out as well. They're all here in a pile. If there weren't so many screws and nails in them, we'd pretty much set it on fire in place, but uh, we don't wanna get any of that kind of stuff in our tires. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we've done a lot of cleanup. The containers are now together. Uh, we need to get a plasma cutter going or something like that to cut these walls out because it would just cost way too much time and money and grinding wheels to try and cut it out that way. Uh, but yeah, we've made good progress and uh, the next six days it's supposed to rain and I think uh, we're gonna be pretty well uh, off working in here, um, getting this wall taken out while it's uh, raining because now we're going to be out of the weather and things will be um, pretty nice for us moving forward. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen the previous parts, uh, check them out. We'll put cards up above to the playlist and links in the description. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe and turn on the bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have fun. Bye now.